Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to the next tutorial video here on duct tape creations. So for today's tutorial, we're going to make a duct tape uh, camera case for the standard digital camera, which would be pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get crafting. Alright, so the first thing you need to do to start making your duct tape camera case is to get the measurements for your camera specifically. Uh, so for my camera right here, it needs my case needs to be 3.5 inches in width and 4 inches tall. Uh, so that's what I need for mine. So for that, I just need to cut out 4 strips of tape uh, that are 4 inches long and then make a sheet of tape that's just three and a half inches high. Uh, which is pretty simple, or wide I should say. Uh, so you're going to take your first strip here once you have all of your strips cut out to the size you need. Uh, and then you're going to take your second one and stick it right on top of here. Uh, basically starting a normal duct tape sheet. So there you go, now you have a double sided strip of tape just like that. Really simple. So once you have that done, you're going to take your third strip here. And you're going to go up to the desired height you need. For me it's three and a half, so I need to go right here. And just seal that down like so. Alright, now flip it over once again, and cover up the rest of the stick side that you put there this time. And there we go. So there's your first sheet there, uh, that will go right over your camera. And one thing to make sure of is that you can see a bit of the tape around all the edges of the camera, so it sits right in the center of your sheet, that's what you want, so that's pretty simple to understand there. Uh, so once you have your first sheet done here, you're making an exact duplicate of that. So once you have these two done, uh, we can move on to our next steps. Alright, so once you've finished up your two sheets here, we can move on to setting up the bottom and the sides to start making the pouch for the camera, which is pretty simple. So one thing I'll mention is I actually messed up on the measurements for the width of these sheets right here. Uh, it's actually to be 2.5 inches instead of 3.5 inches. So if your camera measurements are the same as mine and you're following this tutorial to a T, uh, then don't make your sheets 3.5 inches in width. Uh, make them 2.5 inches, that's what you need. Uh, so I'll probably put annotations or something when I was explaining how to make the sheets there when I messed up so you can see it then and not and not hear it now if you've already made the sheets so uh, do apologize for that but either way uh, if these measurements are unique to your own camera and you got your own measurements then this shouldn't affect you but if you're following it to a T just keep this in mind that I made that little bit of a, of a mistake so do apologize for that uh, but anyway we can move on now to setting up the sides and bottom so to do that I need to just cut six strips of tape uh, for me, I had to cut out four strips of tape that are four and a half inches long, and I took two of those here and folded them in half, as you can see here, so now they're only one inch in width. Uh, it's really simple right there. And the other four right here, you had, to cut, you had to cut in half, as you can see, so you get these little one inch wide strips. Then you need to cut out two strips of tape. Uh, the other two strips of tape I cut out were uh, two and a half inches long. Then once again, I had to cut one in half, like so. And this one right here, I stayed to show you guys on camera, so how you'd fold it in half is just peel over one side and stick it down like so. And that's how you do the same thing with your longer strips, which is pretty simple right there. So now I can move on to setting up all the sides and everything. So to do that, you're just going to take uh, one of your longer strips here and one of your long, uh, one of your longer folded in half strips here, which are my four inch ones that may differ for your camera, and stick half of the of the strip right on top of that with the sticky side showing right there. And then do the same thing once again. Take your next strip and put it on the other side, just like so, halfway on with half the sticky side showing right there at the bar of uh, the strip right there in the center. Now bring over one of your sheets and just stick half of it or part of it right on there, right on the edge. Pretty easy, just make sure you have a little bit of sticky side showing so it can fold over. Then bring over your other sheet here and you're going to do the exact same thing, just seal it up just like so and then it will just fold over like that. So pretty simple. And once you have that done, you're going to do the same thing once again. Bring over your uh, folded uh, strip Take your strips with the sticky side showing, seal it down like that. Alright, bring over your next one, and do the same thing here. Seal it down, very good. Now bring over one of your sheets once again, and seal half of it right there, or part of it right on there with the sticky side showing, so it can fold over. Bring over the other side, and just hold it in place here, and fold that over, and seal it down. So you can see the pouch is now made, so pretty cool. Now you're going to take your... Uh, smaller little piece here that you fold in half to be for the bottom and do the same thing once again just take half of the strips right there on the bottom like so and take the other one and right like that so now you can see there's a double sided once again with the double sided sticky side and then the one bar in the center then put this right on the bottom like so and then peel this over to the other side and seal that down very simple and then your camera should fit right inside there, nice and snug, and then you can just do it. If you have a cord like this, you can just let it drape over the side if you want. Uh, that's pretty simple right there. So the next step, I'm going to show you how to make a little bit of a flap for the top of this, and then once we do that, we can wrap up the tutorial. So finish off setting up the side, and then we can move on to All making right, the flap. So now that you have this done, we can now make the flap for the top, which is also quite simple. 
All you do is cut one strip of tape here that's three inches long. Fold that in half like you did for the side pieces to make the actual pouch. And seal it together. Then just cut out a small little strip here. doesn't matter how big it is. It just needs to be normal width of duct tape. And you can seal that right down on there. So you can see the sticky stuff showing on all, uh, on all three sides right there. Uh, top bottom, well the bottom end sides I should say. Then just take it and, actually let's flip that around. And seal it down just like so, right there. And then that will peel right over to the front. Now if you want to, you can make this uh, the full width of, the, of your uh, case, but that's up to you. It doesn't need, need to be that way. Then you can just get some Velcro, stick it right in the center of that, and put it down. So pretty simple right there, but I'm going to put my camera in here for the fir uh, first off. Let's put that the other way. Of course in the way. Alright, so then just pop that right there. And there we go. Velcro stuck on. All you need to do is just peel it off, and then you have your camera case. So quite simple, it looks pretty cool when using the rainbow tape here. So yeah, pretty simple creation to make, hope you enjoyed it. And also one thing, there's, there's a little bit of a gap right here at the bottom, all you need to do is cut out a small little uh, one by one square of tape and just seal it right down at the bottom, pretty simple. Uh, that's all you really need to know how to make a duct tape camera case, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, so yeah, uh, next week's tutorial I'm trying to make a duct tape headband, so that'd be pretty cool. A little bit of listening for the uh, female audience of the channel, so that's going to be awesome, look forward to that. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't be afraid to leave a like, that helps out a bunch. And if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, uh, well if you've seen some of my other videos and you like what you see there as well, don't be afraid to subscribe, I always welcome new subscribers to the channel, that'd be awesome. Uh, so I also want to mention, I don't mention this too often, uh, but I also have a Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus page, so if you'd like to keep up, up to date with the videos that go out on the channel, uh, and don't and you don't want to rely on the YouTube sub feed if it doesn't work that well. You can go check out any of those pages. Links are in the description below to both for all Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. So yeah, you can go there as well. Also on the chan they're also linked to the channel banner as well, uh, along with the link to my new DeviantArt page where I just post pictures of the creations I make. Right now I'm just posting uh, My Little Pony things, but I might change that and upload other creations as well. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but just I mentioned all that stuff as well. I uh, also have a second channel here on YouTube, which is a gaming channel, so if you're interested in seeing Minecraft Let's Plays and stuff, uh, you can go check that out as well. A uh, link is also in the description below, so you can go see all that stuff if you'd like. Just thought I'd give a sh little shout out to that kind of stuff, so don't mention it too often, so it's uh, okay here. So yeah, that's going to pretty much wrap up this here for sure, guys. I ranted a, long, uh, ranted a bit here at the end, so apologize for that, that bothers you, but anyway, uh, anyway guys, thanks for watching, as always, just enjoy the one of those duct tape.